Hello everyone, I hope you all are well. Um, today I'm going to actually analyze a chart by someone who has left a comment in my YouTube uh, channel. Maheshwar Hegde2542. Uh, four weeks ago he dropped a message and I'm just seeing it a few days ago. I just happened to see it a few days ago. So I'm going to read out his question. He's got his uh, bird details there and his question is please tell me about my ancestors property which is currently in litigation what will happen when can the case be solved panchama shani eight lord shani and shani dasha guru bhakti and guru is in eighth from saturn no job since 2020 okay what a sensitive question but uh two parts to the question right First part is when will the court case on a property be solved? And the second part is uh, there is no job since 2020. All right, so let's look at what is happening. So I've got the natives chart, which will come up on the screen now. Okay, so we can see, uh, this person is um, Karaga Laknam. Sun is in the Laknam. Second house, we've got Mars. Third house, Jupiter. Fourth house is the Moon. The Moon has got a Digbalam strength. Rahu in the fifth house. Saturn is in the eighth house. Eleventh house, we've got Venus and Kedu. And in the twelfth house, we've got Mercury in his own house. So Venus is in its own house with Kedu. And uh, Mercury is in the 12th house of Midunam. So this Lagnam, again, is a Karaga Lagnam with Sun in the uh, Lagnam, sitting right uh, within the same, I think, a same degree or within two degrees of the Lagnam. And uh, Rasi is Tulam Rashi, uh, Vishagam Nachatra. Uh, that's a, a star owned by Jupiter. I've also got the Navamsam. Uh, which is kind of important for this uh, analysis. In the Navamsham, we've got uh, Mars in its own house. Uh, with the Laknam is uh, Brichaga Laknam, Mars, Sunny, and uh, Rahu. Three negative shadow planets are in uh, Brichaga. In Mesham, uh, you've got the Moon, and there's no other planets in uh, the other houses right up to Mesham. In Rishabham, we've got Mercury, Jupiter, Kedu, and then over in the 11th house at Kanya Rashi, you've got Venus. Back at Tulam, you've got the uh, Sun in the 12th house. So, again, the Rashi house. So, Karagalakanam, uh, Tulam Rashi. Now, I'm going to show what the native is currently running. So, the Dasa and uh, Bhukti of this native. So as what the native or the person in the YouTube comments said, Maheshwar, what he said is currently running Saturn Dasa, Jupiter Bhukti. And uh, since uh, 5th of uh, October, 2023, right up to 17th of April, 2026. This is the last Bhukti of the entire 19 years of Sunny Dasha. And coming back to the Rashi chart. So we can see rightly what this person has said sunny and jupiter there are six eight houses uh, away so this is in astrology six eight twelve whenever that comes whenever that happens it's going to be a negative period challenges will come in so uh, saturn and jupiter that means they are six eight ashed slash six eight from each other and that is kind of uh, negative. It's not going to be helpful. Sunny is in his house of Kumba, own house, uh, Mula Trigi corner house, and he's quite powerful. In the Laknam, six houses away from Sunny is where um, his father or Surian is. So a few things about this person, even without uh, this person telling me, we can actually analyze that uh, the ancestral home, father's home, has happened because of Sunny Dasa 
Surya Bhakti itself, the problem started. And we can see uh, from the Rashi chart, Sunny is looking directly at Mars siblings. Mars uh, has got two houses, uh, like uh, everyone else's chart, uh, Mesham and Brichagam. Sunny is looking at both Mesham and Brichagam through his third house, uh, sorry, his third Drishti and the tenth Drishti. In Vrichagam, uh, you have got Rahu, which is another dark planet. And uh, Mars is also looking at Vrichagam. So you've got Mars looking at the fifth house, Mars's own house, where Rahu is. So you've got Mars is looking there, Rahu is placed there, and uh, Sunny is looking at Vrichagam. And uh, this is the fifth house. Uh, I've always mentioned that fifth house is Purva Punya Stana, Purva Punya, past lives benefits. Right? So good luck from something from a good deed from the past life is trickling down or pouring into the current life. This person doesn't have it. And also fifth house is uh, Putra Stana. All right. Jupiter is the Putra Karagan. He's the planet that signifies children. Fifth house is house of Putra and all children completely decimated with three negative uh, planets looking at it. Sunny, Savai, uh, Mars, Saturn, and Rahu, which is placed there. Completely decimating. This person doesn't have luck. So this is a very sensitive topic, as I said at the start of this video. It is not an easy thing to talk about, but I just want to bring out about Analyzing something for astrology is not really a straightforward thing. There's a lot of minute and if-else statements. Uh, if, if you guys are software engineers or programmers, you will know if-else um, conditional statements. If this, do this kind of process. Else, do that. If not, any of this two, do a third thing or a fourth thing, fifth thing. In astrology, there's a million combinations. Right, so Putra Gharagan uh, for Kadagalaknam, sixth house owner, right, sixth and the ninth house owner. So for Kadagalaknam, Jupiter really doesn't do so good. Although, if you look at the in this person's chart, Jupiter is in the third house looking at the ninth house. All right, so there, there is a bit of luck which will come at the end of a suffering, end of a challenge. And what do I mean by that is this. Okay, to understand what has happened, again, we have to go back to the Dasa Bhukti calendar, which will come up now. Saturn uh, Dasa started uh, 17th of April 2007, finishing 17th of April 2026, 19 years. So, Sunny Dasa, Sunny Bhukti, Saturn, Saturn is how it starts for everyone. And uh, then it went to Mercury Bhukti, Kedu, Venus. All those were typically fine because they are friends of Sunny. Then you can see Saturn's Sun, which happened on the 7th of uh, April 2017. This was the start of this person's uh, challenges. Saturn's Sun is when it affected the father, authority, government. Okay. Saturn Moon is, again, not helpful. Saturn Mars, 2019, uh, October 20th. Uh, that is when Mars sitting in um, Sun's house, right? Surya's house, which is Simma, Simma Rasi, uh, second house. Sunny is looking directly at, at Mars, although Sunny is Vakram or retrograde, right? Sunny is in its uh, elements because uh, Mula three Kona house. It's in Kumbham looking directly at Surian. Surian is, Sun is 12 houses away from its own house. So it kind of lost its uh, strength, Stanabalam. It's not there. Jupiter is not really looking at any planet except for uh, Venus, right? So this person has uh, elder siblings. All right, so what is, so what am I telling? What is the answer to this person's uh, question about litigation and uh, property, right? ancestral property? Not so good. This person is not going to get the benefits of uh, ancestral home. Why? Because Sunny is, again, looking at the Navam Samna. Mars 
Rahu Sunny. It's in Brichagam. Uh, Sunny is in a very irritable state, very powerful, negatively. Looking at uh, Simmam. Simmam is the house for ancestral property, ancestral home, ancestral help. Right? Also, this person doesn't have uh, the benefit of uh, running to the ancestors for help. Right? It's not going to. So like uh, Kuladevam uh, Valipadu or Kuladevam Prayer. This birth of this particular native was born in 1993, uh, July. It's not going to uh, be able to access uh, ancestral help. So what does that mean? You remember I said that um, with Venus, uh, Venus being, um, Venus with Ketu, Venus being a feminine planet, is going to get uh, help from uh, female siblings or male siblings who are very close to this person's, uh, this native's age, right? But most likely a uh, sister, elder sister, because uh, 11th house is elder sibling, third house is uh, younger sibling. This person has both. And uh, sibling uh, Karagan, which is uh, the planet that signifies siblings, is uh, Mars, having a drishti of uh, Sunny. Right? So not a very good uh, communication and understanding. So misunderstanding with siblings, this person is not going to get much of... Uh, the litigation is not going to be in favor of this native, but a female sibling would want to help this native. So they would actually announce in the litigation, in the court case that we should help this person, Dada, whatever is the uh, da, 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 the uh, misunderstanding and all, but he is our father's child anyway, and uh, we should help. It will only come from that way. It's not, the judgment itself is not going to be in favor of this native. Some uh, sibling of uh, this native would uh, come to a realization that without much help from ancestral property, this uh, sibling is not going to have much of an income. Uh, wealthiness is going to be limited. The most important thing, as I say, is the Lakna owner. If you want to see someone who is going to experience the good or bad, or if someone is going to experience a good life, which is the house or the planet you must look at, the Laknam. Every one of us have got a Laknam. There is a Laknam Lord. Which planet is in the Laknam? Now for this native, Kadaga Laknam. Kadagam uh, is a luminary uh, planet, which is the, the moon. The only planet that can grow and shrink is the moon, right? You've got from Amawasha uh, right up to Paudnami moon, right? The new moon right up to full moon. So this person, uh, one good thing is they've got a Stanabalam with the, the moon. Moon is in the fourth house. Uh, moon and uh, Venus, they have uh, a Digbalam in uh, uh, the fourth place, which is also, fourth place also signifies property, vehicles, mother, and you know? also this person has got strong bond with the mother because ma uh, the moon is in the fourth house. The Karagan for motherhood is in the fourth house. So the, although there's a, an element of Karago Bhavanasti, and that is a whole different thing about uh, astrology, which I do not have the time to talk about in this video, but there's another element we have to look at. That's why I say there is no straightforward answer to the question. We have to look at all planets. The sun and the moon for this native has got uh, Kendra Balam. That means sun and the moon. They are four houses away. And they are both luminary planets. They are the ones whose houses are side by side, Karagam and Simmam, they are side by side. And they are the father and mother. This mother is in support of this native getting the property. Again, litigation wise, which house signifies litigation? Well, six and eight. In this instance, Sunny in the eighth house is the one that has given litigation. A court case has happened. So when does it get solved? Uh, eight houses from the eighth house. So if you come from the eighth house where Sunny is, uh, you'll end up in the third house where Jupiter is. 
in turn, Jupiter is a sixth house owner in sitting in the third house. And that's not going to be helpful either. Third house is also siblings, so rivalry with siblings. Six, sixth house is, it's amongst other things, is what? Enemies. Your siblings have become your enemies. Significator of siblings, Mars has got direct drishti of Sunny. Also, negatively placed. So if else, if else, you have to look at all this. Also looking at the Navamsam, you've got Mars, Saturn and Rahu in Vrichagam, completely destroying the house of Vrichagam. Mars, uh, Mars's uh, house, it, it, it doesn't like it. It doesn't, it's not able to help this native. However, the court case will come to an end when, uh, when Mercury Dasha uh, begins, uh, which will happen uh, after, uh, April 2026, uh, if I remember, yeah, 17th of April 2026, when Sunny's 19 years of da uh, Dasha comes to an end, and then uh, Buddha Dasha would start. Specifically, Buddha's first, because Buddha Dasha is 17 years, it'll start with Buddha Dasha, Buddha Bhukti, average. All right, Buddha Dasha, Kedu Bhukti, because Kedu is the one who has got. Shukran's uh, benefit and also Jupiter's benefit. Although the 6th and 8th will come, 6, 3, 6, 8, uh, 3, 6, 10, 11. Now, another concept I have to talk about for this, uh, answering this question, then they are the Ubachaya Stanam, 3, 6, uh, 10, 11. Any negative planets, shadow planets, dark planets, Rahu, Savai, uh, Sunny uh, Kedu. If they are in 3, 6, 10, 11, they will give you challenges first, but they are the ones who will come and help you. That's the other side of the coin. They'll give you a problem. They'll give you, like, for example, a job, stressful job. But later, when after working in the job for three, four years, struggling, unpleasant job, where this person has got, uh, for example, this person has got a lot of. Uh, physically working with the body because Sunny is strong, right? Surian, 12 houses away from his own house, kind of lost its stanabal. I mean, it's got you no know, positional strength. Sunny is looking at uh, Surian's house. Surian is boss, the leader. Sunny is the worker. Sunny is stronger. This person has to physically labor. This person is forever going to be quote unquote, a slave, because Sunny is a slave planet, right? If Surian was strong, then leadership roles will kick in. Next year, when Sunny, uh, after March 25th, uh, 2025, when Sunny moves from uh, Kumbham to uh, Meenam, for this person, uh, Sunny is from the Rasi house, Tulam Rasi, Sunny is going to um, the sixth place positive and uh, this person is still going to run uh, Sunny Dasa. So that's when this person will get a job, right? So now this six, eight, Shashtashtagam between uh, Sunny and uh, Guru, Saturn and Jupiter, it's not going to be helpful as that native rightly said, Maheshwar, uh, you have pointed out. And uh, yes, you're right, it's not going to be helpful. Next year, after the transit of uh, Sunny, you will get a job. It won't be a job that you like, but income will come in. It'll be a job below your educational level. Yeah, you're not going to like it. I know you've also uh, most likely inherited your father's business or you want to inherit your father's business. That will come later. You are going to struggle a bit. And also, also you have to remember that for Tulam Rasi, in a few years, in about seven and a half, eight years, you're going to go through Ashtamasani. And again, we'll look at that at that uh, time, but disputing with Jupiter in uh, Mercury's uh, house. Mercury has got two houses and Mercury is in his own house of uh, Midunam, right? And uh, Jupiter is in Kanni Rasi. They don't get along well, so you studied something that you weren't really happy about, but you did study something. Um, 
you don't like it. But this type of chart is the one that shows that this person would have studied something, but working as something else after Ashtamasani, they will do a third thing. So three different income ventures in their life. So this kind of uh, uh, person, uh, their life will get better only after 40 or 42. Right? Ashtamasani will have to spin around and give, give a native another pathway to take. But the second how uh, second part of their life. That means I'm taking uh, ninety years, so like forty two to forty five is the middle. After forty five onwards, um, life will be better than before, right? Uh, so again, this is the analysis. When uh, litigation for ancestral property will be cleared depends. Eighth house is the one that gave you the court case, or sixth house is the one that gave you. If it's eighth house, eighth house from the eighth, third house. If it's the sixth house, sixth from the sixth, eleventh house. The planet sitting there, or the owner of that house, provided the owner of the house is not missing six, eight, twelve from that house. Yeah. Astrology is complicated. No straightforward answer. So this, and then there's that. If Rahu Kedu has got some affiliation with the third house or the eleventh house, all right. If Rahu Kedu is there, this native has got Kedu, but Kedu is a Kedu has got uh, Shukran and Guru's link. It will try and do good, and it's in a, in a in a positive house, Rishabham. Right, Kedu and Shukran is in the Rishabham house. Uh, Shukran, Venus is the one that has lost its strength, but Kedu gained its strength. So Mercury, Dasha, Kedu, Bukti, things will start changing for the better. All right. So, but this person will be good. They will be able to take care of them of of themselves and be able to survive. Sunny in the eighth house. Sunny in the eighth house during uh, birth, as in a birth chart. One good thing it gives it is a uh, long life. Right? It uh, also doesn't allow you to travel overseas. Right? Uh, trade will be a bit uh, challenging for this nature because it's looking at uh, Mation, 10th house, house of trade. Sixth house is house of employment, job. Sixth house is the slavery, quote unquote, slavery um, house. Because you have to, in a way, you have to tie your hand like this and stand in front of a boss. You are not your own boss. You want to be your own boss, uh, start a business or trade? Tenth house. Tenth house doesn't really have much strength, although the moon is looking at it. Right? A growing moon, a waxing moon. All right. It is not uh, shrinking or waning, it's waxing. Not exactly full moon, but uh, half a moon looking at the 10th house. But Sunny is stronger than the moon in this instance. So Sunny will win the battle and uh, completely destroy straight. So in short, to answer the questions that this person has asked me in YouTube, court case will end, not favorable. Your sibling must help you, only then you will get something from the ancestral property. But employment will come uh, beginning of next year. It won't be a job that you are hoping to get, but you will have an income. Steadily, it will improve. Mercury Dasha, uh, Kedu Bukti is when changes will happen. And also 11th house is house of Labam, right? Profit. And... Uh, You'll be better off then. Again, second half of your life is better than the first. So this is my analysis for this native. And uh, do leave a comment, questions. Anyone else have uh, any questions that you leave in the comment? I think I should tell, give a bit of a disclaimer that it means that you are more than happy for me to talk about your chart out in the open because you have already put your question out in the open. All right. And uh, if, you, if it's a, a sensitive topic, perhaps you want a private reading. So reach out to me privately. My contact details are in the description, channel uh, description. Uh, have a read, leave a comment, uh, subscribe. 
and I wish you all the very best. Thank you and God bless.